What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to Danny's Gaming Universe. Yo, today we are doing an unboxing video for the brand new Xbox Series S. Not X, Series S. <laughs> and we got the Porsche. Right here. We're going to open this thing up and we're going to look, we're going to compare it to the Xbox One X that I have right here. Um, yeah, I just want to see what the difference is. You know, we're going to see the size difference. Obviously, you know, I, I messed this part up, but it is what it is. But look, here goes the specs in case y'all want to see the specs on it. 120 frames per second is what I'm super excited about. And yes, it does play in 4K mode in case you guys are wondering. Um... So let's get right into it. Let's just see what this is about. Let's see how different it is. And wow, this one is small. It's extremely small. So, uh, look at that. Look at that, y'all. What y'all think? It's real nice. Like they wrapped it up like a Christmas present. <laughs> it's pretty cool, obviously. They got the power of your dreams. <laughs> Let's move this out. We have the shot. Move mm -hmm. that out. There it is. There it is. So it's you would think. Look at that. That's crazy. Wow. It's not even you know small. It's good. Look at the back part. Let's get right into. Let's take this off and then we'll compare it to uh, the Xbox One X that I have right here next to me because this thing is heavy and it's huge compared to this little thing. So we're gonna get right into it. Let me uh take it out without messing up any other good goods you know i like to keep my packages fine and dandy in case we need to put it away for any reason <laughs> we're gonna slide it out there it is okay and whoa so here goes the back this as you can tell it's the new expansion thing and yes you can also buy the uh those uh, external hard drives so you don't only, you don't only have to get these that go here you can actually uh, get the regular ones that plug into the USB ports, and you're good to go. Um, so don't let them try to fool you with that. Definitely can do it because these are wicked expensive compared to the ones that you just plug into the USB. And boom, you put it right on top of here, and you're good to go. You have a whole thing. Goes the top part. I like the vents. So it reminds me of the Xbox One S um, with the whole net on the top part, which is pretty cool, as you can see up close. It's a really nice thing. It, it has a lot too. It's pretty cool. Here goes the bottom. Look at the bottom even has vents down here. That's cool. So this part right here is a big fan. You can actually, you can't really see it, but you know, that's a huge, you, know, you probably could catch a little glimpse of it right there when I do this. But um, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's like one overheat and they've been doing a pretty good job with that. Even the regular Xbox ones have been pretty good with that. So. It's awesome. At least with the, you know, the PS5 and stuff, they, that's all. It's a big fan. It's a huge fan all around. So it's pretty cool. It's like a little, it's just a little spot. So one best part about it is all you have to do now, look at the front, has a USB port. Obviously the sync thing for the controller is right here, which is good. The on button is right here. Um, I kind of like this. It's, 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 it has weight to it, but it's not bad. Uh, you got vents here. And you got vents here. Also, you know, so you got vents pretty much all around. You got little vents here in the little corner here. You got the big boy up here. So it's not bad. I like it. Um, is it worth the two ninety nine? Yes, it is the digital version, as you can see. Uh, I didn't mind getting it digitally because most of my games are downloaded anyways from here. On the PlayStation is different. I I prefer the disc version only because I do have a lot of games, especially for the PS4 and stuff. So, you know, I'm able to play a bunch of them with it. So let me show you the difference. So here goes the Xbox One X, right? Huge, nice grip everywhere. You got the vents all over the sides here, you know, like pound pound. Then you got the ones at the back here, so y'all can see. And look at the size difference, okay? I'm gonna post, I'm gonna hold it. Look at the size difference, okay? I'm gonna put it on top. Look at that. This is a crazy size difference. This is nothing compared to this. Look at that. Cut in half type thing. Look at that. <laughs> this is good. That's not bad. This 
is amazing though too. I love the system and everything. Um, so best part about this is it's in you can definitely stream or play a game in 4K Ultra HD. So it's good. 120 frames per second. You're not losing out on anything. I say, you know, go for it. It's worth it. Let's check out the controller and everything. So it does come with <clears throat> this right here. It's just showing you, you know, download the app and stuff. It shows you the connections and everything, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. Um, then in the back, it shows you, you know, how to pair the new controller to it and everything. So this controller is very interesting. So let's get right into it. Whoa, this is nice. Here's the controller. We're gonna open it up. Let's get right into this thing. And we're gonna see. Ooh, it feels good. It feels really good because of batteries. So you get some Duracells with it, you know, and some Duracells. Let's go. And here goes a new controller. Yeah, this is interesting. So it, this is technically an elite controller. The only difference is you got the share button in the middle now, which is pretty dope. If that's good for streaming, fine. Click it, do your thing, set it up the way you want to go. If you want to share a clip with your friends or a video or anything, even your gameplay. At this point in time, when you're like, whatever, just pop, click on that, and share it off. Gives you the options. It has it has grip pretty much everywhere. I don't know if you can see it. There's grip everywhere on top of here. It has grip. It has like little little grip dots and stuff. It's pretty cool. It has grips, which isn't bad. Um, yeah, everything else pretty much is resembles the the system, the Xbox One controller, and everything. So it's pretty much the same. The only difference is, like I said, it has grip pretty much on all the good spots. You yeah, have yeah, good grip on it now. It has like little ridges. I don't know if I can catch it on the camera and everything, but I'm trying to. And as you, you can probably see a little bit, but you know, the buttons, the L buttons and stuff all have it here. This is all gripped out, which is good. You know, you can't really go wrong with it, but um, yeah, it's actually, it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. In my eyes, um, what else does it come with here? Besides that and batteries. It comes with the uh, HDMI, high speed 4K HDMI, and you obviously see the power cord. Um, and it comes with the book over here. Uh, but yes, you know, that's the, that's the review on the Xbox One X. The One S, I should say, the Xbox Series S, I mean. Ah, I'm so used to the Xbox One X that I have here that I'm like, eh, you know. So it's the review for the Xbox Series S, so the new controller. The share button on it is really nice in the middle. This has vents pretty much all around the whole console. So, you know, you can't go wrong with that. I say, if y'all gonna you're really thinking about getting it, I would say go for it. You can't go wrong with getting the digital version anyways. You know, always buy the expansion thing for it and you're good to go. Like I said, you don't have to get the one from Microsoft. You can always just get one of those passport uh, external hard drives they usually use for laptops and everything it all works it's all the same you're not losing out on anything you're pretty much getting the same thing the only difference is that it's not attached to this thing it'll be attached to the usb that way you can take it anywhere you need to go if you need to go to your one of your boys house or homegirl's house whatever that has a system pop your thing in and you got all your games right there so that being said yeah man i hope y'all liked it don't forget to hit the subscribe button yo share my videos yo you know what i mean i got a lot more things coming up Definitely do that. Don't forget to drop a comment. Hit that like button, bro. Turn on the post notifications, yo. And then I'm out, y'all.